Okay, once you've got all these nuts and bolts started onto these plastic pieces, you can start putting the rail on there. As you put each piece of rail on, it's worth tightening down enough to uh, keep from falling off. It's real frustrating when you get one piece together and another piece falls apart. But don't over crank this, especially at this stage. You want to get the, the whole frame together and then torque them down. If you tighten these too much, you will crack this plastic. Um, so we're going to go ahead and repeat this for all six pieces here, just like we did there, and we'll have our bottom together. Okay, we've got our bottom and our top frame put together. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install the motors. I've installed one of them already on the bottom. I like to make all the wires face the same direction, so if they're all going to the right or they're all going to the left, you don't really want them to go down because uh, they're going to be sitting on the table there. You don't want them to go up because there's going to be a piece of glass right there. So you want to choose one side and have them all go to that side. Um, other than that, you're also going to want to put the pulley on before you install the motor. You don't have to tighten the pulley down. You're going to actually want to leave it loose so that we can align it uh, as we install the belt. But you've got to put it on there because there's not enough space to put it on after the motor is installed. And in fact, you can see that it'll go all the way to the end of the plastic there without falling off. So you put the pulley on loosely and screw the motor in. We're going to do that with the other two motors. And then at that point, this bottom piece will be pretty much done. It's a little non-obvious when you put it together, but what I recommend doing for the bottom here is to make three identical parts. In this case, what I've done is I've taken our little triangle piece and I've put both of the arms on one side, and I did the same for both of the other pieces, and uh, you can see here now, and I doubt I'll be able to film it, but what that allows us to do is to slide all three together at the same time. I can slide that onto that at the same time as that onto that at the same time as that onto that. I just can't do it while I'm holding the camera. But by making three identical pieces, you make it a lot easier to put the bottom together. You can see now that we have all three motors installed, I did have to remove these cork dampers as the screws that I have aren't quite long enough, the two millimeters thickness that the cork damper adds, uh, removed that from the thread that goes into the motors so I couldn't get a good grab in there. I'll probably get some longer screws and re-add the cork dampers tomorrow. You can see here is the bottom uh, part of our 3D printer with all three stepper motors mm -hmm. installed. The pulleys are installed there as well, although they're not tightened down yet. We'll go ahead and get that aligned before we crank those down on there. Taking a closer look at the top corner of the 3D printer frame, it's easy to see or visualize where the roller bearings are going to go. They're going to go right in this little space here. Uh, they're going to be held by this longer M3 bolt, which I've gotten started. The parts that are going to go on there in order are I've got over here. Uh, the first thing we're going to put on is an M3 washer. That M3 washer is going to keep the bearings from digging into the plastic and provide a little bit of a spacer there. The second thing that's going to go on is the flanged bearing. Uh, the flange on this is going to go towards the center of the 3D printer. After that, we'll put another flange bearing on with the flange going the other way towards with out of the 3D printer so that uh, we basically have a, a belt pulley with little edges there that hold the belt on. And then after that, we're going to space it out with more M3 washers um, until we just barely have space to put on this. Uh, this nut there. I don't know how many of these M3 washers here are going to fit. It'll be at least one and up to three in there. I'm thinking I might fit two in there before we do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that together and we'll show you what that looks like. Here you can see our completed assembly for the pulley on the top of the frame. Uh, we can see the first thing on there is an M3 washer. Above that is our flanged bearing, flanged towards the inside of the printer. Above that is another flanged bearing with the flange going the other way. This provides a nice little uh, spot for the belt to ride there. Above that we did manage to fit two M3 washers before we got our, uh, our hex nut on there. and that provides us with our entire uh, roller surface for our GT2 belt. Now we'll have to do that two more times and we're done. It is also worth mentioning at this point that if were I using closed belts, I would also have had to install the belt on here when I put that on. I am using open belts for my design. Uh, if you're using closed belts, you will also have to put the belt on at this point.